Welcome back guys. This video concerns again our enumeration object poker type. We want to be able to compare the poker types with each other. So let's assume that we have one aqua Pokemon and one fire Pokemon. We want to be able to compare them. So so what is stronger? Is fire stronger than aqua or is grass stronger than aqua? If we just follow these rules that are typed here and we take these integers, we see it doesn't work because aqua is zero and fire is like one. So, so let's just try this out. I will just do aqua. Let's import this. And fire. So what I could do is I could just make like this. Let's try it out. This would give us a false. And if we test whether aqua is higher than fire, this will give us a type error because it's not supported between instances of poker type and poker type. So actually, we we could just get a workaround like using, for example, the, the value. And if we just print the value, we get like the, the number. So for aqua, we have a zero. So we could compare it. But like I said before, it doesn't really work because fire is not higher or stronger than aqua. And so in order to solve this problem, we will use comparison operators. And in Python, we have rich comparisons. So they are usually, usually implemented in Python using methods like uh, equality or lower than. And in, internally in Python, there is only one rich comparison slot. So we need to define them. And we will do this now. So this is actually a thunder method. Thunder methods are all methods in Python that have these underscores. And you see PyCharm is also giving us some proposals. So like a GT for greater than, LT for lower than, NE for not equal, or EQ for equal. So let's use first the equal. Self and other. So this self is referring to the object itself. And if we take the other, it's referring to another object. And internally, um, this needs to be of the same instance. So Python is checking that if we compare these things, that they have the same type. They are both of poker type. So we don't have to explicitly uh, define that. So let's do this now. We want to return this to true if self name is the same as the other name, else false. So what does this mean? If self name is, for example, aqua, and self other name is also aqua, this is true, which means that they are equal. Let's try this out. Ah, we need to reload this, sorry. Ah, yeah, sorry, we need to compare it or not. So this is false. Uh, let's try to see whether the debugger goes in here. So let's do this. I will comment this out for a minute because we don't need it. And I will just debug it. So if you code yourself and if you want to see where the code is going, just take the debugger and we will step into so here we see this is a build and we didn't code this. This is already given by Python. And here we see if instance is none. And if we go further down here, it will check whether both types that we check are poker types. So we do not want to check that, but so this finished and it's Sadly, it didn't even go here. So um, I think it's because we have different types. We will first define the other uh, functions and then we will do this uh, the same thing again. So let's define now the uh, opposite of equal, not equal. Return true if self.name 
is not other dot name else false. Uh, actually, we could have just also taken that uh, we, we could have done it also like this. For example, uh, return self. Self other and just not. So this would just take this one and it would uh, give the opposite value. But let's do it right in this way because it's not. It's just a one liner. We will use this technique later. And uh, now because now we will define the lower than. Lower than is LT, and we need actually to make a lot of more checks here. So first, if self name. And uh, if self name is other name, we want to return false. So if self name, for example, if aqua and the other poker type is also aqua, if we have two aquas, we and we, we, we make like this comparison. For example, let's say we have two aquas, aqua one, uh, aqua and aqua one. And if we do later like this, lower than, we have here defined the lower than, so lower than aqua. And if they have the same names, we want to return false, because if they have the same names and they are two aqua Pokemon, there is no lower than. The lower than is always false. So let's go on. If self.name is grass and other.name is Fire. Sorry for that. Is fire. We want to return true because we see that um, if our Pokemon is grass and the other Pokemon is fire. We are we have a disadvantage because fire burns uh, grass. So this is true. So let's go on. If self dot name is grass and other dot name is aqua, we will return false because the if we have a grass. And the other have an aqua. Uh, grass is like the, the, the disadvantage of, uh, of aqua. So this is the reason why a lower than would return false. I will just do this now and I will stop the video and paste it because actually we have to go to, to every type and I will just make this a little bit faster. But of course, stop the code and see if you understand what we are doing here. So this is now the full code. We have the lower than and we have just taking every Pokemon type. For example, Aqua and Grass is true. If we have an Aqua and the other one is a fire, uh, it is a false because we are not lower, we are stronger. And uh, this goes also for the next two types. I hope I didn't forget anyone. So now we have an X comparison operator, greater than. And if we take greater than, I will just make it easy and return just the opposite of the the uh, lower than because in fact it is mathematically just the opposite. So let's do it and we call it like that. So what we also need to uh, do is I want to create now an exception. Um, this will be our custom exception. Python had a lot of built-in exceptions and but uh, for just for for teaching uh, reasons, I will just create a new exception that we will use. So if we have a look here, we see a lot of built-in exceptions in Python. Uh, for example, assertion error, attribute error. Just have a look at this website and you will find them. We, I'm sure if we want, we could uh, find one of them here. But uh, like I said, just for teaching reasons, I want to create our own custom error that I will use. And by error, I mean, of course, exception.